is we do metaverse consulting. So if somebody's interested in having a space uh, set up like this, whether it's turnkey or customized space, we actually provide that service within our consulting agency. What's fun about the metaverse is, especially this particular venue, spatial.io, is that there are templates that are available as part of the service that you sign up for, that you can click and set up almost immediately. And then as you get more comfortable and you figure out exactly what you need to do in the metaverse, you can customize things, just like what we've done here in this, in this penthouse to really make that next level impression. So there are all types of solutions available. And one of the things we wanted to do today uh, is talk about why we enjoy spatial so much, why we enjoy using some of the host tools. For example, I can click a button and bring everyone in the space to me. Did you see what we just right. did? So if you have people, and we love it when people wander around and learn how to use their avatars and explore the different areas. Ariel, it's good to see you today. We encourage everyone to walk around and check out the space, but also if you're doing a formal presentation, there comes a point in time where you need everybody in the room with you. And so the host tools allow you to mute. They allow you to you know, use your avatar and cheer and clap. So what we decided to do is we're just trying to uh, share all the different features. Let's walk into, for example, when you turn around, when everyone turns around, you can see that big screen behind us. That's where you saw a couple of interviews with Gary V, Seth Godin, uh, Mark Schaefer. We do PowerPoint presentations on the big screen uh, behind you. And it's just a matter of pointing and clicking content and bringing it in. We're hosting a round table in the next room. Let's go into the next room. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a seat, but uh, if you double click on a sorry, chair. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 that's fine. Sorry, it's uh, If you click on a chair, then it'll, it'll have you sit down and we're going to be having round table conversations with metaverse designers, with people here from spatial, with uh, lawyers that will help businesses understand the legal challenges and hurdles in the Web3 metaverse spaces, communication experts to help us communicate more effectively. There's just so many things that we're right. excited about doing. And we wanted to create an environment, the helicopter pad with the upstairs penthouse uh, dance floor with everything else that just kind of creates a memorable and unique experience. And so Garrett and I have partnered with really talented third parties. I'll tell you, one of them is responsible for creating many of the beautiful spaces you see here on Spatial. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. So what I thought we'd do today is I just wanted to open this up to my community, invite people to come by for the next hour or so and say hello and introduce themselves. There's some new bells and whistles, everyone, with Spatial. And right now, we can take a photo. If you're on your laptop or desktop, um, you can take a photo by just hitting the T key, okay? And when you hit the T key, it'll take a picture and save it to your folder on your hard drive. You can also use the photo icon up at your top right and take video or pictures of the location or venue yes. that you're in, which is kind of cool, especially if you want to repurpose this on all the other social media platforms. If you're shooting, shooting a video, video, you can start and stop by hitting the R key instead of having to go up and yeah. actually manually do it. I think these these additional features, in addition to what I was mentioning to Garrett yesterday, Spatial just rolled out tokenable spaces so that for we're going to have a community where when you purchase our NFT, it gives you access into a private spatial metaverse space, very similar to what you're looking at right now where only members of the community have access. And so different companies can tokenize their metaverse spaces in different ways. And I think when you look at all of that type of technology, in addition to being able to access spatial with phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, or headsets, things get pretty exciting. And I think what you yes. were talking about with escrow, it's, uh, that's brilliant. Garrett actually has a friend who is in traditional commercial real estate, also a Web3 enthusiast, and they're talking about different ways of using smart contracts and the blockchain 
uh, to complement and facilitate everything you just said. And so I think it, it's really important that we continue looking at this technology as more than just board apes or crypto punks. The technology is being used right now in NFTs to serve process with lawsuits, to prove ownership in real estate, to help make escrow arrangements more streamlined and more secure and, frank, and frankly, faster and, le yes. and less expensive, right? We're going to be hosting uh, weekly uh, meetups and get togethers with with people that share a common interest. And I'm going to walk while I'm speaking because I want to try something. Everyone just please stay where you are. I want to see if I can message or teleport everybody up to the roof to join me. So just sit tight just to keep it simple. Uh, and so I have no problem with bringing everyone that you're mentioning into the same room, along with people that many of us haven't even met together oh that did work uh, fantastic yeah, thank so thank, thank you very much oh absolutely so what i've noticed is especially for new users they have a hard time moving around the space especially multi-level spaces and as a host uh garrett i often make you a co-host on these things in the host panel or the host tools like i said we can mute we can block we can remove participants or we can now bring everybody to where we are in the space. And that just makes it so much easier. And so thank you for letting me try this out uh, with you. It worked. Look, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I noticed where Garrett I, and Garrett immediately gravitates to the uh, DJ booth. Yeah, okay, it's okay. that is too funny. I love okay. that. So Garrett is my son, everyone. He graduated from the University of Southern California, Marshall School of Business, and we started Maneuver together. We're having, great, a lot of, we're having a great, lot of fun great. meeting a lot of interesting people yeah, like you time. from all over the world. So what we're finding is almost daily, we're getting approached by two or three different companies, business owners, entrepreneurs to help them migrate into the metaverse. And what we're trying to do is make sure everyone knows if you do it the right way, it's as easy as flipping the switch of a light uh, when you walk into the room, yes. that's how simple this can be. Yes. You can make it as complicated as you want or as easy as you want. And so Garrett and I are focusing on making it consumer friendly. And it seems to be working, Garrett. I think everyone's enjoying our meetups and our conversations and our tips and everything else. So I just followed you back. And uh, so now we're connected on Twitter. And the best way to, to see when we're going live, um, this was not really a very heavily promoted event, but when we do live, for example, yesterday I had, I don't know, 20, 25 people come in for something we were doing. Over the weekend, we had anywhere from 50 to 200 people an hour coming through watching the videos. I usually share that and Garrett will share yeah. on his Twitter feed. And so that's the best way to kind of get a feel for when the next event is. And if you have any questions, definitely just DM me, DM Garrett and I think we can probably, you know, save you a lot of time with either free resources, existing templates, or when you're ready to take things to the next level, we can do that too. So it's always a pleasure. Yes. Our pleasure. And I want you to please feel free to look around, make yourself at home, click on the portals over by the helicopter and down on the first floor in the living room. And you can see some of the other spaces. I'm sure you already have, but uh, you can see other spaces that we're setting up to complement the different themes, the different business purposes. For example, one-on-one -on -one private business consulting rooms, galleries that you can walk people through to tell your story. It doesn't have to be art. It can be any topic in the world. We set up one that you can portal to downstairs that um, shares our 46 top negotiation tips as you walk through the gallery. So there are many, many different ways I think we can use these platforms to build our businesses and brands to build new relationships like with people just like you and uh, to move forward and have fun at the same time. I think that's the most important thing. I'm excited. Yes, yeah. keep keep us in the loop. Whatever we can do to help, to uh, brainstorm with, to bounce questions off of each other, I think we should give give it a try. What I do want to try, if, you, if you'll just work with me, is over where I'm standing right now is a portal. 
to a different spatial space. It's our negotiation space. Let's all transport over to it and see how easy it is to go into that room. So just click on the spear, and if you just take a minute or two and meet me over there, that would be fantastic. And once again, these types of slide presentations can be your business model, it can be your fundraising goals, it can be your artwork. In this case, it's negotiation tips. I like, Try, I like, I like. Yeah, yeah, it's fun using these spaces in different ways. You know what I'm looking forward to is when we have instant translation where we're both speaking in our native language and the audible is instantly translated via AI in real time. That's going to be amazing. All right, everyone. Thanks for yeah, stopping by and let's stay connected. Okay.